We're here in the Barma Millawa Forest working on the Living Murray program. This program is about reversing the degradation of the Murray River and its floodplain. And over the last 20 years, we've seen a gradual increase in both the flora and fauna and the condition of the environment. The Living Murray program has been monitoring plants and animals across the Barman Mill Forest since 2007. For the last 17 years, we've been monitoring the health and movement of fish, crayfish, plants, turtles, and frogs throughout the forest. We rely on researchers from ARI. They provide that information to us and we can feed that back into our management program. Our research provides water managers with confidence that their plans will support environmental outcomes. And as a result of the uh, delivery of environmental water, we've seen great outcomes for fish, vegetation, and particularly water bird breeding. The Barma Miller Forest is the largest river red gum forest in the world. This is of immense cultural significance to Yorta Yorta Nation and also to other Australians. It's a, like an inland estuary. It catches carbon and propagules from the forest floor, puts it back into the river and charges ecosystems further downstream. It contains over 600 species of plants and animals, many of which are highly dependent on the forest for breeding and shelter. Our research has shown that some fish species move hundreds of kilometres during drought and poor conditions to reside within Barma Forest. The great thing about environmental water is that it supports the life history requirements of fish and crayfish throughout the region. So with crayfish, we have a much better understanding of their population dynamics and how they respond to drought and flood events. Integral to our work here is building partnerships with catchment management authorities, traditional owners and water managers to better support positive outcomes Despite extreme variation in climatic conditions, droughts and floods, the fish community in Barma Milwa Forest has remained very stable. We can't flood the whole forest with environmental water, but we can target uh, significant ecosystems such as the Moorgrass Plains, and we've seen a recovery over the last five to seven years. Mm -hmm.